playlist. Come on, driver. The real Jim Cannon quest starts now with your first drills. Score as many points as possible by performing the requested stunts, and you're sure to impress Scotto. Shouldn't be an issue. The Hoonicorn was born to stunt.
Okay, first training session, we're gonna rough up the Hunaquan a bit. We're focusing on Gymkhana Essentials, big slides and precision. Get the right amount of points and we move on. back the other way. Tunnels earned you points too. They force you to be precise. Come on, one last round. Give me a few more tricks. Slaying monster. Don't be shy with it. Hell yeah, that's my driver. The first time we installed the grind rail was in Florida. We thought a car doing a skateboard trick? Man, that's gotta be cool. And it was. taking your first step in the quest to becoming a Gymkhana master. The tricks we set up require a ton of precision and therefore training. Proper car control requires timing and impact. Everything is weight balance. Engage the brake hard at that perfect moment, get proper steering, but above all, never lift. Let's see how you handled your first slides with the Hoonicorn. So now the real test is gonna be whether or not you can manage to put this all together in real Gymkhana conditions. First, I got this first ad I wanna to put together. There's two cars I wanna see go head to head. Take your pick.
playground as much as you like in free drive. A great way to hone your new skills. As Scott has said, let's take a break before resuming your Shinkana quest with a This versus That episode. Hoonigan does countless car-related things, from custo to pro racing. But one of their favorite activities is as simple as it is fun to compare cars by racing them. Today, we're comparing two cars that are very special to our host. You'll find out more later. For now, you just have to pick your horse. The Coupe Quattro, a turbo monster with infinite blueness. You're in a this versus that event. The guys and I do it all the time. We put two cars on the grid and see which one is the fastest. We only compare cars for the fun of it. Don't worry if you lose. But let's see if you bet on the right horse. Our two competitors today belong to the collection of a true Volkswagen nerd, me. These cars on track, it makes me feel emotional. And a little bit anxious, to be honest. Don't crash yours, please. I'll tell Gary the same thing. Quattro is teaching the 911 a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is exciting. race is like seeing a Jack Ferdinand Porsche fighting a buffed up August Hork in the Octagon. In the red corner, the 965 Turbo upgraded to over 400 horsepower with Japanese aesthetics. Love this one. And in the blue corner, the 1990 Coupe Quattro with a big turbo that takes it up over 800 horsepower. A good little boy. Both have a lot of power and they're both insane. I'm not going to bed before kissing these two beauties goodnight. It calms me. Listen, you keep that to yourself, all right? It's just, uh, you know, I'm really proud of these machines. Volcano, my guys are preparing a first Gymkhana test for you over there. Things are gonna get real. Ooh, 
I think we'll have to check the geometry after this. tough watching either of my babies lose. If you want to push the car to its limit, now is the time. Right, all right, ah, <laughs> you did great. But honestly, that this versus that it was heartbreaking to watch. On one side, you've got this 1990 Audi Coupe Quattro that took me a mere two decades to see crazy hill climbing beast. And on the other, the ultimate goal for any VW Audi Porsche nerd like myself. One of the first two cars that Raw Wealth ever built outside of Japan. Check out the hips on that thing. I know we patched this whole thing together, but I just can't watch either of these lose. So uh, I'll just, yeah, I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed for this one. All good? Can I open my eyes now? Let's meet at the foot of the volcano. It's time to put your skills to the test in an actual Gymkhana. that event. The guys and I do it all the time. We put two cars on the grid and see which one is the fastest. We can only compare cars for the fun of it. Don't worry if you lose. But let's see if you bet on the right horse. The Quattro is teaching the 911 a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is exciting. Our two competitors today belong to the collection of a true Volkswagen nerd, me. These cars on track, it makes me feel emotional and a little bit anxious, to be honest. Don't crash yours, please. I'll tell Gary the same thing. This race is like seeing a Jack Ferdinand Porsche fighting a buffed up August Hork in the octagon. In the red corner, the 965 Turbo, upgraded to over 400 horsepower with Japanese aesthetics. Love this one. And in the blue corner, the 1990 Coupe Quattro with a big turbo that takes it up over 800 horsepower. A good little boy. I'm not going to bed before kissing these two beauties goodnight. It calms me. Listen, you keep that to yourself, all right? It's just, uh, you know, I'm really proud of these machines. Volcano, my guys are repairing a first. 
Bergstrom Kana test for you over there. Things are gonna get real. Audi blowing Porsche away. This race is sick. The end is near. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough watching either of my babies lose. If you wanna push the car to its limit, now is the time. Sorry about that, Ferdinand. All right, all right. Ah, <laughs> he did great. But honestly, that this versus that it was heartbreaking to watch. On one side, you've got this 1990 Audi Coupe Quattro that took me a mere two decades see crazy hill climbing beast and on the other the ultimate goal for any vw audi porsche nerd like myself one of the first two cars that raw wealth ever built outside of japan check out the hips on that thing i know we patched this whole thing together but i just can't watch either of these lose so uh i'll just yeah i'm just gonna keep my eyes closed for this one All good? Can, can I open my eyes now? Let's meet at the foot of the volcano. It's time to put your skills to the test in an actual Gymkhana. Mindsets. This event is a validation event, meaning you'll need to use the skills you've acquired on the playground. Scotto wants to see if you can use them in a time attack. The Hoonicorn will no longer be your map for this event, replaced by a fully modified third gen Camaro. Hoonigan created this car at Chevrolet's own request. The brand wanted a special car for a special engine. A 632 crate engine, also called a big block. Hard to miss, this engine literally pierces the hood. Actually, it doesn't even have a hood.
the test driver. Hey, welcome to the first test, the volcano. We really spruced up the place. The plan's simple. You go up to the summit, then drive down as fast as you can while performing various tricks. I wanna see if you can be both fast and precise in such a challenging environment. All right, I'd be lying if I didn't happen to mention a few drivers might have gone down the ravine. Eh, it was kind of rough, but that's not gonna happen to you. And after all, the Camaro, virtually unbreakable. Good luck. You're probably wondering, why a chopper? <laughs> You'll find out soon. Time to see what you've learned. Finish the race on time. Do as many tricks as you can. And on top of winning that money, you'll win my heart. Deal? That big block is ultra powerful, and that's not a euphemism. But she's not a natural born Gymkhana machine like the Hunafor. You can drift the streetcar for sure, but it's at your own risk with the handbrake. jump over it, like now. That's what we call proximity. This type of moment in a video with slow-mo, now that's badass. Remember, align properly to take the rail.
We designed this path in reference to hill climbs. Hardcore, uphill races. But in a volcano, dude, you take it up a notch. Come on, I want to see you flirt with the precipice a little longer. Kill these tires. Watch out for roadworks, 100 meters ahead. Solving at high speed through roadworks, jumping over a chopper, that's why Gymkhana's exist. Chopper, the end is right over there. Okay, that's a shame, but you'll get it next time. Just do the same, but faster. out soon. Time to see what you've learned. Finish the race on time. Do as many tricks as you can. And on top of winning that money, you'll win my heart. Deal? Big Block is ultra powerful, and that's not a euphemism. But she's not a natural born Gymkhana machine like the Hunaful. You can drift the streetcar for sure, but it's at your own risk with the handbrake.
You're gonna jump over it? Like now. Now that's what we call proximity. This type of moment in a video with slow-mo? Now that's badass. properly to take the rail. this path in reference to hill climbs. Hardcore uphill races. But in a volcano, dude, you take it up a notch. Come on, I want to see you flirt with the precipice a little longer. Kill these tires. Watch out for roadworks, 100 meters ahead. Following at high speed through roadworks, jumping over a chopper, that's why Gymkhana's exist. the chopper. The end is right over there. Well done. That time attack was crazy and honestly not very easy to negotiate, especially in a thousand horsepower Camaro. This machine owes its power to the extremely prominent 632 big block coming through the hood. We also beefed up the drivetrain, specifically going with straight cut gears because Chimkana drivers tend to be a little hard on their equipment and break everything. And by the way, we shot a couple highlight videos. I figured you might want to watch them. This race, it had its wow moments, but the others, they're gonna need to be even more spectacular than that. I need you to go pick up this Mitsubishi Evo 9, and then you gotta bring it back to the shop so Ron, the rally guru, and the boys can jump on it and get a build going.